Well, it was a win, at least. Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and today talking about the 1-0 win against Millwall. Uh, very, very underwhelming, I think it would be the word, to describe that performance. I'm pleased that we got a win. It was a much needed win after the previous two games. As I mentioned in my preview, I felt that today's game and Tuesday's game are pivotal in terms of how we're going to view our season. So in that respect, it was great to get three points. But to come to the performance, I thought that we started the game quite brightly. In the first 10-15 minutes, I thought we looked creative and looked good. Uh, Diego Jota scoring a very, very good goal. From about 25 yards, that was a very, very good finish right into the corner of the net. But then it sort of started to slow down, slow down, and then in the second half, it pretty much came to a stop. The passing was so lethargic and slow. They didn't look tired, it looked as if they were sort of conserving their energy, or just, I don't know, there was no urgency, no pace to anything, and there was a real lack of understanding between everybody. There were a number of times where we were on the edge of their box, looking dangerous, and then it would come to Sice or Jota or Neves and they'd have a shot and it would go miles out and just give away possession. And I don't think that the lack of striking options is to blame for that. I thought that Bonatini had a fairly good game. He had a couple of chances in the first half. Brighton Bakari, when he came on, is still overthinking things too much. The ball's coming to him and he's not sort of... In, he's not prepared when the ball comes to him, to use it wisely. It's sort of coming to him and then he's then he's thinking about what to do, which is, he needs to be moving away from that now. I can appreciate that he's a young player and he's learning his trade and all stuff like that, that's fine, but he needs to now start thinking about the next step. I thought Matt Doherty had a good game today, uh, down the right hand side, looked quite threatening. A couple of times he was overlooked when the ball was in a dangerous position and he had made a decent run. The pass went in infield or astray. The subs who came off the bench already talked about Ena Bacare. Cavaliero at the very very end came on and looked a little bit more direct and was running the ball forward a little bit more. And then Alfred and I... came on as well and looked quite assured in possession and ran the ball forward a couple of times. Uh, didn't get to see a lot of him but it looked okay. I thought the defence on the whole looked quite good uh, although Miranda giving away a couple of naive fouls in the last couple of minutes which led to free kicks and stuff being thrown at us where it was, shouldn't really have been. Personally, my player of the season so far, John Ruddy, came to save us again. I think in every game so far this season he has won us points. Uh, the last couple of minutes there was a chance uh, from quite far out but he needed a save and then from a corner where a shot went through a number of players and then Ruddy was quick to get down on it and stop in any sort of rebound as well. Not the, I wouldn't say the signing of the summer because we've had so many players come in who've played so well but he's been such a vital part of our team and because of all the other players and all the possession that we've had he's getting overlooked a lot so really really good signing I think. So all in all, a pretty poor performance. I'd be interested to hear Nuno's view of the game because the game against Brentford, he was very complimentary about the team, saying that he was the best that we've played so far. I didn't agree with him then. I'd be interested to hear what he says about this game. And we move on now to the Bristol game on Tuesday, which is a big game because it's three more points available. We're two points away, I think, from Leeds, who are in second place. Three behind Cardiff, who are in first. So... We're up there and we're fighting, but of course, we've been in this position a few times over recent years. We've got to push on now in the next few games. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel for more Wolves content every week. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.